Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, The Greatest Empire, um, where I play as England and hopefully as Great Britain and try to recreate that great empire that ever was, the greatest empire that ever was, whatever. And um, yeah, let's... I'm not too bothered about this actually, so let's just lose a bit of prestige. Um, yeah, things are going fine. We are, we are doing our best to conquer most of Ireland as soon as possible, and we're also gonna need another seat in no a debate not a seat my bad um all right sure advisor cost sure nice for maintenance also nice don't really care don't really care so uh, let's go for advisor cost i guess we are 30 percent uh support already per percent chance um is there anything here we could we could Offer up. We could all always offer up army tradition. I think sixty percent. That's good. Let's um, wait around for the rest then. And I'm gonna <clears throat> uh, support our armies fully again, and then we're gonna march on the Fuhumba Humbane, whatever it's called. Uh, let's go. Fuck. Right. Forgot about that. All right. You. Um, you win this round, Ireland. Well, all right, that's um, that's just how it is, I guess. I don't really know why Muscovy would rival us, but sure. Uh, Where are they allied to? And they are allied to Denmark. That's a that um, explains it. We don't have another. A lot we could remove Castile. We are we have been talking about it, so let's let's do that. I still don't want to rival uh, France. First of all, because they haven't rivaled us, and secondly, because we do want to stay friendly with them uh, once the, the colonial times start coming in, and we're going to be focused and extended over in America and the Indies. So, um, let's dissolve this alliance and let's uh, let's focus on Are they supported by anyone else? They are not, but if it's supported by us, hopefully they won't call call a war yet. Sorry, Castile. Uh, we are gonna drain some diplo points until our uh, marriage with Castile ends, but that's just how it is. And right now the tech penalty isn't that high, but once it gets starting to get higher, we're gonna start saving up points instead of actually um, taking up right away, and that's why. Focusing on Diplo as soon as possible, which is going to be in seven years. Um, it's going to be important so we can uh, tank. So we can fully fill exp the exploration uh, tree uh, rather than um, dumping it in tech advances. So we got uh, some uh, Galagla, I guess. Or Longbow, of course, because we're English. Not stupid of me. We're also going to make Western Ireland into a territory. Uh, until uh, uh, into a state, I mean. So let's uh, just watch our states here. Uh, right, so pretty much all of all of Ireland already is a state. Cool. Well, we only have to conquer it, and we c in the future we could also get uh, Vlander and, and Gent, and we probably are simply because of uh, the accessibility of the state. Uh, it's a bit better right, to do that, I think, especially now when uh, states are a bit more costly and uh, harder to acquire. Normandy is still looking uh, fine, and uh, Flanders got um, an uh, opinion bo boost towards us for some reason. Not that I, I'm complaining, uh, just. Yes, a bit weird, considering they are um, under... I'm guessing they are still, anyway. 
No. Oh, this is us. Um, they are still a junior partner to uh, Burgundy, which hates us. So, you know. All right, we should maybe overlook this. Look over this, not overlook it. And yeah, cool. Sligatch is still on the warpath. And we can't increase autonomy yet. It's gonna be a while. A long while. It needs to be under 75. And there's not it, it's another um what five years until um Henry Lancaster the seventh takes his throne, so you know. I'm a bit miffed that we didn't get to um, experience the War of the Roses, but you know. It's not the end of the world. Uh, our alliances looks good. How is the Holy Roman Empire looking? Nice. Uh, our um, ally looks to uh, keep the throne in the next election. Always appreciated. And as I said, we're gonna hightail it for exploration as soon as possible. Let's lose some prestige. Now, there's there's been a while. Oh, right, still a regions council. I do want to attack Scotland as soon as possible, so we can form Great Britain as soon as possible. Sixty percent, so that we can. Um, we only need Lothian and Aberdeen, but we also need admin tech ten. New Pope and the French one, of course, so hopefully we won't get excommunicated. Um, because I do want to become the Great Britain as soon as possible. So we'll see how fast that'll be. Sligage is steadily creeping closer. So let's just for a little while increase our troops to see if we can can't suppress this rebellion just a little bit. Still gonna. Okay, so let's. I think the better idea is simply to uh, let them fire and uh, crush them. We do need another leader as well. So let's create one. And luckily enough, he did have quite a lot of... A decent amount of shock for um, such an early general. So, could be worse. How many troops will it be? There's gonna be 10,000. That's fine. That's more than fine. Right, cool. Um, no, sorry, Castile. It's better you um, divorce us than um, keep nagging. I'm not sure what you think that's gonna do. <coughs> sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat. Um, what the hell is Shikperia? 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 What the hell? It's Georgia. No, it's Albania. All right. And trade efficiency and diplo power, or just money. Let's take some diplo diplo points. Always nice. Oh, and let's get our army up and running as quickly as possible. Hopefully, they won't fire next month. They didn't. All right. Cool. Now we're out of the woodwork. We lost the debate. That's uh, annoying. Means we're gonna have to need one. You get another one. Um, yeah, let's go with the same. What the hell? Lose some money. We can do that. No, no, no. Okay. Lancaster should be grown soon. All grown up. And that should be the end of our uh, first. Okay, so they all only need to be 15 and... Oh, Christ! Alright, so War of the Roses is still on. Hopefully we can uh, get another air soon. Quite soon. Um, hopefully... We have negative... We have negative stability. What the hell? Alright, well... Um... I suppose.
Bring me luck. Holy shit. Alright, marriage. Now we need an heir. As soon as possible. Right, well, uh, yep, that's troubling. We are not gonna... Most likely not gonna have an heir. So as soon as this is fired... Let's force it to fire. Uh, we're gonna ship our troops and get ready for some fighting. Let's do that already with um, these troops. That was a um, short-lived Pope. And now instead of <laughs> Portugal and France, it's Castilla and Moscovia. Uh, let's lose some legitimacy. It's not, gonna, not, it's not like we're gonna keep it around much longer anyway with the, how uh, things are going. Right, uh, we could use this opportunity to simply start um, conquering some. Let's uh, subjugate Ireland. Wasn't that what we were doing anyway? Right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You aren't allied, are you? No. Cool. Then let's wipe out this army as well. And then split up the siege. And war... Whoops, sorry. Uh, war de Roses is upon us. Um, Henry VII has suddenly died. Christ, they aren't long lived, lived these guys. Uh, as the nation mourns, two junior branches of the old House of Plant Plantenice, uh, the House of Lancaster and the House of York, both claim to be rightful heir to the throne of England. Sporadic fights between the supporters have already broken out in a number of provinces around the country. Their her her heraldic symbols, a red rose and a white rose, have already become synonymous with the conflict now commonly known as the word roses. Um, I suppose I should just choose the more the more popular one, shouldn't I? And the, the better leader, I mean, um, the better monarch. This is um, 710, this is 79. So let's go with... Um, Lancaster then. Keep a Lancaster on the throne. And... Yeah, let's make sure that our army doesn't get stuck there, and let's siege down these two as soon as possible. So let's desert. Right, how do we end this? We need to um, few rebel promises than one. Yep, yep. That's an air. So we need an air of all things. I don't think we're gonna manage to accomplish that. Um, let's get that unrest down as soon as possible. Oh, actually, let's uh, boost up the um, stability to the point we need. There most likely going to be some um, some events that fires that. That's great. Um, that gives us stability as well. So. Uh, we can simply see it as though that's the build to being um, a bit cheaper. It's, it's better to boost build now before we get the advanced than uh, boosting it later and it being more expensive. Yep. Come on, let's go. We are mostly gonna like lose that fort, unfortunately. Yep, that's just how it is. And the rebels. Why do they want to install a Clifford? Shouldn't they want to install a York? Or I guess, unless I guess um, his last name is York, but they aren't showing it. For a second there, I was certain that uh, we were at war with um, France and. Um, I got quite worried there for a second, but it was only Sligo Chivru. Chivru. 
Sure. I'm guessing we're gonna... We're gonna uh, run into quite a lot of loans during the Civil War anyway, so... Come on now. Right, this one we can adopt. Okay, cool. Uh, let's ship everyone over here. Where are these guys going? They are going to Somerset. That's perfectly alright with me. <sighs> Christ. What the hell? I must have missed this. <clears throat> what? Alright, okay. Let's wait for another tick. We have a better shock leader. We are defending. Why are they giving a boost? Base 4, technology 3. Base. We have a lower base. We have a lower base for some reason. That's good. They're going to Somerset. Let's make sure to be defending over here when they get there. Right, so we got a new king, queen consort with um, the Austrians, which is, she's quite fine. Um, Oh, come on. We're still only up to one loan so far. Hopefully it won't be any more. All right, here we go. The last... Our last chance at, that, at this. We got it. Good. Right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Um, access. Alright. We're gonna split this. We're gonna take these guys and ship them over here. We're gonna take these guys and let them... Uh, they will all the siege territory. Hopefully, when they get up to uh, Northumberland, they've got they will have um, reinforced enough to handle it. Hopefully, not another doom stack of thirty pulp and fucking troops um, arrive. But uh, we'll see, I guess. I have no idea how. We managed that, but all right. I suppose this could be worse. Let's wait with this before we get 
until we get uh, exploration so that we um, can simply get um... actually you know what I'm stupid we do want the diplo points as soon as possible so let's uh, get some diplo rep and this guy is gonna go over to Ireland good good so we uh... I suppose we c nice now we're gonna get a lot of money at least um, I was gonna say we could have uh, pieced these guys out any time, but um, now it's just as good, I guess. A little money doesn't uh, hurt, anyway. And let's repay our loans. Right, cool. So uh, we're right in the middle of War the Roses and then uh, an Irish uprising. But anyway, I'm gonna end it here and hopefully see you next time. Please leave a like if you wanna see more of this content or leave a dislike if you wanna see less of if you simply like it. And uh, please consider subscribing, it helps a lot and uh, I know that you uh, appreciate my con content. Alright, see you next time. Bye!